In the name of my ancestors, peace forever and always, and welcome to another edition of the Realities Temple on Earth Internet Ministry. Of course, I am the gatekeeper of the host of this particular program, known here on social media as the mighty, 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 mm. Angel Snub Nub 7, I am your brother, and hopefully your friend, Talik Ibn Ra. I would like to take the next few minutes to bring response to some of the comments made by uh, Raven Masterson, otherwise known as the uh, Happy Hooker. 83. I have known or have had communication with Raven Masterson for uh, a pretty long time. And when I first saw her videos, in my mind, or the way I view her as a very intelligent person, and because of that view, although some may view her opinion as extreme, I saw much truth in many of the issues that she would comment upon. And with any truth, there are those who get angry and upset because we can't handle the truth. So we attack the person that carries that truth. And I never, and I have never said that I agree with her opinion 100%. And then what makes things more terrible is that you have people who believe they own you and can tell me who I should be friends with who should I who I should associate with and who I cannot associate with because of this and that and I don't like that especially from faceless trolls you don't tell me who I can be friends with especially from people who ain't doing a dang thing for me you ain't sent me one dime you don't pay no bills here you don't do nothing except listen to a video and if you don't want to listen to a video Move out. Go on about your business. Never asked you to come here to begin with. I am not your slave. I've had enough of being enslaved. I'm not going to relieve myself of races just to become a slave to folks with dark skin. It don't work that way. However, because of my association and because I do agree with many of the truths and I'm not going to argue with truth that come from Raven, then I find myself attacked by Caucasian people and perhaps dark-skinned people who don't like her. My channel's terminated and so forth. But when you are in the truth business and when you speak and stand like I do, then that is expected because there's nothing else a troll or anybody else can do except false flag of video on social media because you can't argue with the truth that we're bringing to you. You should wonder and it should make you think when you always talk about what is wrong in the world. The world needs to change. The world does this and the world is bad and all of these things that we say. But you Skip over something that is very important. And that is this world for the last few thousand years has been controlled, created, and dominated by men. Regardless to race, men of all races across this earth run and control this planet, the humanity of this planet. So if you don't like the world, then you better begin to look at men 
And this is what I agree with Raven on. Something is wrong with men, not just black men, men in general. Raven decided to fall out with me because I disagree with something that she done. She said that I sided with police officers or something to that, and that was not the case. The case was we need to choose our battles. Every battle against authority, every battle, you don't have to fight. That is all I was saying to her. And so she got angry because I told her you could have just let that go and find a battle that is much more something that you should fight. This one you should not you should not have to fight every battle. And being one who is a victim of incarceration, then I can tell you from my experience that it is not good to try to fight every battle because every battle is not worth it. Only a battle that's going to bring you some type of benefit should you win. But now that is over. If she does not want to associate with Angel Snuppin' Up 7, that is all well and good. However, since she makes her opinion public and she has decided to attack black men and I am known not to defend black men, which is a lie, which is an outright lie. There's no proof to that. But since this is a outright blanted, <laughs> what's the, how you pronounce that word? This is an outright attack on black men and these this opinion does not truly contain truth in it then I will step up and must respond in defense of black men now she wants to paint the Caucasian pink man as an angel I want to remind Raven Masterson that the Caucasian male for the last few hundred years has has and has become and still is the greatest murderer worldwide. He has forced his religion on billions. He has poisoned our food supply, poisoned the air, poisoned the water. Right now, dropping bombs on innocent men, women, and children as I speak. He is the proponent. He is the root cause of abortion. He is the man that calls us and have taught the earth to call women whores and sluts and bitches. And make you degrade yourself by selling your body. And you try to justify it. But he is the one that is behind the degradation of women, period, within the last few hundred years. And other males follow that. Example, because he is the one on top. And if it works for him, why it can't work for me? What man or what any being don't like the feeling of superiority and exploiting those who are infer inferior? But again, this mentality that you bring across, and I don't know what you really are. You say that you're, you're a mulatto, you, you're a black woman, then you're a mulatto the next. I don't know what you are. But however, if you call yourself black, and when we speak like this, it is no shock because the victim always blame themselves for their condition and never accuse the abuser, never accuse the real perpetrator of the crime. So it is not no shock to me since you also say and make clear that you love Caucasian men that you don't want to really place the blame on them. So your opinion is prejudice. I'm not offering no opinion. I am going to speak the truth whether it hurts black men or it don't hurt black men. Whether it hurts black people in general or don't hurt black people. But let us be fair and let us be just. How can a man be an angel like you trying to paint them as when they have then done nothing since their existence on this planet caused murder worldwide, rape and theft and other countless evil. How can you say that black men are more vicious than these Caucasian men? You don't bring no real examples except 
domestic violence. But when you look at the people in the world, there's nobody more vicious, no more more, no one more dangerous than the racist Caucasian people that drop bombs. I've never seen no black man or no black country of black men that have dropped bombs on others, nuclear bombs, and kill millions in fraction of a second. You said that a black man is more vicious because of, of how he beats up on a woman. And you want to paint the Caucasian man as some type of angel. But when the reality is, whether you get shot by one bullet or 100, the result is, you, is that you are dead. It makes no difference. Whether somebody killed you beautiful or they killed you ugly, you're still dead. So what difference do it make? And who knows the Caucasian pink man more than the Caucasian racist pink woman? Ask her about how angelic. Look at the Caucasian woman history. She would tell you of how she has been defiled, denied her rights, beaten and abused, called whores and slut, everything. She's not going to stand with you and tell this outright lie. Not if she go by her history living with her man while black folks were enslaved. Next to the slave, the Caucasian woman was catching hell. Look it up. They'll tell you. And then it's the Caucasian men who made up these religions that make men superior. And of course, they say it is in the black man's nature to be spiritual. So when the black man is given these religions that's dominated and was created not by some God, but by man. What kind of man? The Caucasian racist pink man gave it to him. So they only follow what they've been taught. By their real father, not the father in heaven, thou art in heaven, but the father in the White House, the father on the slave plantation. That's who their real father is. And the black man is spiritual, so he has been taught that he's supposed to dominate everything. And the first place he better dominate is his house, and that's the woman and these children. So the Caucasian, or rather the so-called Negro, the so-called black man of America. We are the products of racism. We are the products and been influenced by a woman-hating man. Why you think? Why you think that the Caucasian man learned to be with men? He promotes homosexuality. He promotes man on man because he's in love with himself and has a hatred. For womanhood, regardless, even if it's his own, the Caucasian pink woman ain't nothing but something to use for pleasure and to produce more males. He's an anus worshiper. That's why there's an unusual concentration on booty. And when you have booty, what do you have? You have an anus. Before you can... If you're looking from the behind, you see the anus first, then you see the vagina and the penis. They are fascinated with the anus. Can't you see there's a sickness? Can't you see that there's a sickness not only in the black man, but there's a sickness in the black woman because we was raised by sick people. They are the only father that we know. So, if you truly are a, a seeker of what is right and wrong, then you need to know that what you're saying is based purely on a personal opinion because you find favoritism in Caucasian men when they are not what you're talking about at all. So it is false, it is a lie, and I would defend that all the way down. I agree that men have messed up this world, but now you have voices like mine and you have other voices rising up to try to get the man and the woman humanity itself straight. Otherwise, you don't have a beautiful future as you continue to poison this planet and destroy animal life. With that said, jot down your comments. Let's talk about it. This is your brother, the Angel Snub Snub 7. I am the most powerful voice on YouTube. This was and is.
the Raleigh's Temple on Earth.